Good morning, Fast Trackers, and welcome to number 161. This is Daryl in Sydney, Australia, and it's winter here. It's quarter past six in the morning. It's black outside. There's a little bit of sunrise peeking up over. I can see a silhouette of the horizon out there. And uh, welcome to the show. next half an hour it's your show you just let me know what you'd like to do because I just make it up usually start off with a little bit of boogie woogie just to wake myself up Australian won the uh, golf today, <laughs> the 150th St Andrews. Congratulations, Cameron Smith. Watching, I'll just click it on here and see if I can uh, click it, find, and say say hello. You like my new thumbnail? It's slightly different to the old one. <laughs> and we'll get rid of the uh, the ads on here. Skip ads. Oh, good morning. Hello, Stephen. Howdy, Chris. G'day, Chris. Andrea. Good evening. Lovely to see you, Judith! Oh, stop it, Daryl. Manuel! Good to see you, Manuel. Blues Lane, you're up! Can you flash your lights on and off so I can see see where you are? Blues Lane just lives up, up on the hill here. <laughs> G'day Neil, Alligator Neil. See you later, Alligator. Mm, smile a while, crocodile. Mm, see you later, Alligator. Smile a while, crocodile. Mm. Go on, go on. I got you. James Brown and Bill Haley in the one song. <laughs> I tell you what, without you, I wouldn't be doing this, folks, that's for sure. When I woke up this morning, I thought, what's that noise? Oh, it's the alarm. <laughs> hey, Malcolm's up, though. G'day, Malcolm. Good morning. Where are you now? Har back in Harrington? Curran. Hello, Curran. Curran is a very good student. I see her every Monday, US time. We have private lessons. She's doing really well. Good on you, Karen. Thanks for watching the show. And Peter. G'day, Peter. Good to see you, mate. Well, good to see that you're on the show. I hope you're well. Thanks for all your emails. I, I do uh, read them and I appreciate them. Uh, Dion, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Hey, listen, I've got to tell you, I've got to tell you, my goodness me, look who's next. Alfie! Holy smokes! Lovely to hear from you. Now, Alfie, let me think. Alfie is, uh, Alfie's in Florida somewhere. I think they're over there. Been a long, long time. Lo lovely to hear from you. G'day, Alfie. Waltzcraft, you're on. That's lovely to see you two again. 
<laughs> thanks for the thanks for the encouragement, Alfie. I tell you what, it's um, it's thanks, Blues Lane. Crusher Kelly, top of the morning to you. G'day, Crusher. Yes, you're back in Harrington again. Uh, I was right. See, I've got a little bit of a memory. Been doing this a long time now. The first time we did um, was Silent Night. In 2007. Yeah, 2007. That was my very first video. You can have a look. It's had nearly a million hits. Um, now, <clears throat> we've had a look at the song of the week. And the song of the week is this one. It's a girl's name. Obvious, isn't it? I don't normally play it in this key, it's in the key of F minor here. It's got four black notes. from major to minor. Now it's in major again. Now minor chord. And now it goes to minor again. I don't know where I'm up to. <laughs> Da, 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 but this bit here. Does that sound familiar? I'll do it again. You know, <clears throat> I have a little bit of a whinge about the modern pop songs and how they've, they're usually just four chords over and over again. Not that anybody notices. Do, do you notice? No, we don't notice, do we? But, oh God, the sunrise is gorgeous. Um, beautiful um, orange on the, on the horizon. Silhouette of all the trees on the, uh, on the hill over there. And then it's, then it's blue uh, above that. And you can see, um, I think it's um, Jupiter or might be Venus. Uh, but I wish you could see it. It looks fantastic. Coral Lee, look out the window. Look, look at, look how beautiful it is. It's beautiful. Uh, yeah, this bit here. That's a pattern that's used in a lot of songs. Can you think of one? It's just got one note m moving. This one, the bottom one. This one. This one. G'day, Philip. How are you? Chris? Hey, Chris, don't lose faith. You'll get, you'll get better. Just a little bit at a time. Don't take any notice of us show-offs. You know, you just do what you can do. I'm actually putting together uh, <laughs> a million things if I live long enough. <laughs> um... What is it called? Two fingers piano. This, I mean, new people are past this, but I want to get, I want to get the world to play the piano. You know, it's there. How simple is it? It's not like a trumpet or a violin that takes years to get a good sound out of. All you can do is put your finger on it. There it is. Beautiful. Now, if you've got two fingers, you can do lots of stuff. And I'm going to put down, a, put a package together. So if you know somebody who who um, likes what you do and thinks, oh, okay, I'll never be able to play the piano. They're wrong. I'm gonna put this two finger package together and they can play some fun little things that will get them started. That will be good fun. Yeah, it is beautiful, isn't it, Coralie? It's good, nice to be able to share it with you. It's just gorgeous. Um, I wrote a song years and years ago that was in a musical 
This is when the sun was coming up. It's called Stay Gold. Sounds up. If you'd like to play that, send me a donation. I'll send you the music. Okay, you, the, you can go onto the website and just uh, thanks, Stephen. Stay gold. I wrote that in boom, 1983, I think. It might have been earlier than that, 1982, when I first came to Sydney. I can remember sitting on the steps outside our little my little flat. I'm playing it on the guitar. <clears throat> okay, getting back to Michelle, we were doing this. This this thing coming down bit by bit. Have you heard that before? Yeah, anything to get them interested, exactly. Got to get them off those damn phones, haven't we? With a piano, you can go into your imagination. Your imagination. That's what the great thing about music. What? We don't know what it is. You know? I mean, as soon as I start playing, I go off into some sort of... <laughs> some parallel universe or something. When we play in the band... You know, you, you are aware of the audience because you are performing. Um, but you you do go into this other sort of almost a trance thing. It's It's amazing. So we're all lucky, aren't we, that we're actually playing music and we enjoy playing music together. And I'd want to tell you about something that I'm doing this week. This is quite exciting. I've got to tell you about it. There we go. I'm starting a classroom. Now, this is number 160. 61, 161 of this just piano fun thing where we just muck around. You pick up a few tips and, um, and uh, you know, sometimes you might learn something. Sometimes you might just listen to me prattle on about my little stories. But this is more serious. The fast track classroom is going to be more serious. We're actually going to, I'm going to teach you properly for an hour. And I'm starting this week. We've got a, a few people that have uh, signed up. If you go on to the website, fasttrackpiano.com slash classroom, you can read all about it and uh, sign up for the first one. Now, unfortunately, the early bird special is gone. But because you people are my, um, you know, piano fun people that watch the show every week, I'm happy to give you the extend the early bird session just for you. So if you go on to the classroom webpage, you can sign up and you get the early bird special. Now you'll have to let me know that you're watching Piano Fun number 161, which is the show where we're doing now. Piano Fun 161. We'd love to have you along. I'm gonna teach, it, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. 
and I'm gonna we're gonna get right into it. Lots of repetition, and it's fun when other people are watching, and you can ask me questions as we go along. And I won't go on about all my little stories and sunrise and stuff. It'll unfortunately for my European friends, it's going to be in an awful time. It's going to be 10 o'clock, my time. Hey, 10 o'clock. I'll be able to go and play golf and come back and teach people at 10 o'clock. It'll be Wednesday evening for our friends in America. Wednesday evening. I think it's 5 o'clock in LA, 6 o'clock in um, da, 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 then, you know, 8 o'clock in New York. So across, across New And uh, it'll be 10 o'clock on Thursday morning for our, for, for, for our friends in, uh, in Australia. <laughs> I'd love to have your support. If you if you're interested, come and come along. Check out the website and see. I'd, I'd like this to be a regular thing. If we can get make it a success, that'd be terrific. Okay. Um, now I'm going to get back to this little this little thing. Has anybody picked up on this? This this little thing coming down. There's a lot of songs that do that. That was in Michelle. I'll just play it again. Here's a few. Chimney from um, Jim Chimney uh, from Mary Poppins, and there's one more. My funny Valentine. about that there's there's four or five songs that just use that chord progression <laughs> mary poppins um uh just led zeppelin um the beatles um rogers and hammerstein uh isn't that amazing that little chord progression okay well we we're going to do the question of the week um question of the week what is the question of the week i better put it on here uh-huh. There's a lot of things I could do. Stephen sent me something. Why don't I try that? Hey, Stephen, you're still there? I'll put it on. And Stephen asked me to have a, to teach you a little bit of a Charlie Pride song. Now, there's a problem with this. I'm going to put this song on. Now, what happens is YouTube may block it which means I won't do this sort of thing again. I haven't done it for a long time because the, 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 the video gets blocked and um, co for copyright reasons, you can't play you know, someone's song in the middle of your thing. It's, it, it becomes a bit of a problem. So we'll give it a shot. I wanna see what happens. Okay, now uh, it's, no, right here, here we go. I, I only heard about 30 seconds of this song about half an hour ago. Let's find out. Cool, I'll wake you up. From Clint Eastwood. I spent the day just missing you, remember? I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, Stephen, you're a sentimental, sentimentalist, do not you? Can you hear it? Let me know if you can hear it. Every day. And if I could be with you right now, it's called is what I love to say. I'll wake you up when I get home. I'll wake you up when I get home. 
Don't you love slide guitar? I know you won't care what time it is Cause I've been down so very long Okay, it's loud and clear. Honey, it's not so easy, Stephen. It's not an easy one. You know our bed is big and lonesome When you're sleeping all alone I'm your man it's out of tune. Okay, now the first thing I had to do was uh, work out what key it was in. Now it could be 12 different keys. One, two, three. But I worked out it's in the key of A. Can you do that? And how did I do it? Well, it's uh, ear training. Once I worked out it was in the key of A. What I do normally do is I give, give the students here a piece of paper and I write all the letters, all those, and I get them to cross out the ones that sound really bad. And the ones that are left are, the scale, are in the scale. That's one way of doing it. <laughs> you pick the hard ones. So it's in the key of A. The next thing you need to know is the chords in the key of A. A, B minor, C sharp minor, D, E, and F sharp minor. You gotta know this stuff. You just got to know it if you're going to be able to do what I'm doing. You got to know the scales and you got to know the six chords, common chords in each of those scales. Now I do have a uh, program which I, I um, developed with a friend of mine called Scale Up and I haven't promoted it yet. It's all ready to go and it goes through all 12 keys and all that sort of stuff. If you're interested, let me know and I'll give you the send you the first one C major and you can have a have a go at it and see what you think of it because it's I've spent we've spent many years on it developing it and I haven't pushed it yet. Uh, scale up. Just send me an email. Alrighty-o, So that song has got just chords from A in it and play big fat chords. And then you could turn it into thumbs together chords like this. Doesn't work on chord three. See, that's another way of playing, so it sounds country. We did this with the Floyd Kramer thing, we've done it many times. Now, there is one chord in there that's a bit interesting. C sharp seven, suspended four. I think we did that the other day in that other song. No, that was G sharp, the Celine Dion song. Yeah. All right, so you picked a hard one, Stephen, and we'll let that go. Yeah, scale up, scale up is is um, it's 
I'm really proud of it. We've done a lot of work on it, and um, it goes through all the scales. You get to play along with me, you're practicing your scales, knowing the chords, playing along with famous pop songs, um, and being able to improvise, doing a little bit of blues in that key, and all that sort of thing. If you're interested, send me something, and you might get me going. I've got so many things, so many ideas. I've got too many ideas and not enough time. Too many ideas and not enough time. There's only so many Sundays I should find something else and rhyme ba -da -da -ba -da -da -da. You know, my main thing is actually writing music But uh, anyway, uh, it's <laughs> make a living from teaching it So um, let's go back to um, here, over here Now, a few people have asked, by the look of it, they've asked about um, the classroom thing. Yeah, if, it, if it's a bad time for you, that's cool. You can still watch it after the show. And you will be sent, as long as you buy a ticket, Liza, you've got to buy tickets. If you buy a ticket, um, you, you get, I send you a link. I send you a link 10 minutes before the show. So you've got 10 minutes to get yourself sorted out. You'll know what time you've got to be on. Um, what time the show's on because the, it's on the on the page there on the classroom page and you'll get a piece of paper get the, the music which you'll be able to print out and have there and get ready for the classroom and do it properly okay now for those people in Europe you're not going to get up at one o'clock and do it um, so you can still watch it later you can still watch it later it won't be the same because you won't be talking to your mates and stuff and asking questions but that's okay that's all right um, <laughs> It's a bit of an incentive to, for, for me to do some more videos because sitting here on my own, just doing them uh, and then putting them out there, is, is, it's a more fun with everybody sort of sitting here watching, you know? Um, oh, you, Karen's done um, um, scale up good on you, Karen. Okay. Now, how are we going for time? We've only got three minutes left. I've got somebody here by the name of Bernard. I don't know if Bernard's watching. Um... Uh, yeah, <laughs> Bernard says, actually, I do not find the videos of any use. How about that? Really, I just need the PDFs. Everybody's different. I learned how to hammer a nail by watching my father, not by reading a book about it. Some people like to read things and have instructions on pieces of paper, and it makes them learn that way. Other people like to just look and learn by observing. And with YouTube, this changed the world. We were able to video people's our hands and you could just watch that over and over and over again and get good at it without reading music. How brilliant is that? Um, and, um, but some people like both. It's hard to remember. So you need to have something written down. Or you've got to look at the video all the time, which is annoying. Um, anyway, so <laughs> I'm getting back to Bernard here. Uh, actually, I do not find the videos of any use. PDFs, I just need the PDFs. Generally, I fake music. I fake music. Read the right hand. So he reads the right hand, and he adds some bass in the left hand. Some re How does he know what to do, though? So really what I need is to develop an ability to effortlessly add bass to the treble automatically. Okay, so here's here's your here's your um but uh, treble. Now, if you're going to try and just work out what to play in the left hand by yourself, you've got to know stuff. You you got to know the scale up chords. There's the six chords in the key of C. Now you could flounder around and just guess stuff. Um, like, this one's going to sound really bad. Okay? And until you find something that sounds good, then you've got to remember it, write it down, all that. Or you can know stuff, like the six chords. Well, which chord would sound good on... Well, twinkle, twinkle, little star has C going to G. This is a big subject. I should do this next week. C going to G. So it's probably good if you can find a chord with a C and a G in it. Well, what do you know? A C chord's got a C and a G, so that might sound good. Let's find out. Yeah. Now you've got to go to... Now you've got to go to A for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. 
Now that chord doesn't have an A in it. Maybe this one. This one does. D minor. Let's try it. Yeah, it works, but it doesn't sound like the one that we usually hear when you hear play Tunga Tunga Little Star. So let's find another one with an A in it. That doesn't. That does. That's got an A. F chord. Okay, let's try this. Works. Then it comes back to C. So, you got to know stuff. Folks, I'm going to have to go. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, and... Uh, let's uh, let's encourage people to have a have a look at the classroom page on the website, fasttrackpiano.com slash classroom. Have a look there. Now, for the next five minutes, you can have an early bird special. Early bird special. I'd love. I want a lot of people to come on board and watch this, um, and uh, make this a really real success. This would be really helpful for me, and be helpful for for everybody. Um, we get right into it, an hour of intense learning, and you can watch it over and over and over again, but only if you've bought a ticket. It won't, these, these videos will not be public. They're only for people that have um, bought tickets. So have a look at the classroom thing again. Okay, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go. I've gotta go and watch Clint Eastwood movie. Is it the one with the uh, orangutan in it, Stephen? <laughs> All right, we're going to go and uh, enjoy a game of golf. Um, see you later, folks. Bye-bye. Don't forget. Check this out. Let's make it a success. This could be a lot of fun. The more people in there... Um, the more, uh, obviously, the more, I'll, I'll keep doing it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Thanks, folks. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.